Hello everyone, today, I would like to share with you a chicken lick. Extremely delicious practice. No baking, no frying, no boiling. Eat too much and don't get angry. My kids love it. Let's take a look. First, let's take care of the drumsticks. Add a spoonful of flour to it. Then wipe it evenly with your hands. Wipe on hand. When it's a little sticky like this, you can. Now we'll pour it into the basin. Rinse it with running water. After washing it, fish it out and control the water. Put it in a big bowl. Add a spoonful of cooking wine to it to remove the fishy smell. A spoonful of salt to taste. Two spoonfuls of light soy sauce. A spoonful of oyster sauce. A spoonful of dark soy sauce to color. Appropriate amount of pepper. A spoonful of sesame oil locks in moisture. Then put on disposable gloves and grab it evenly. After mixing well, we poke the drumstick a few times with a few toothpicks. This can make the chicken thighs taste better. After rubbing it all, add a piece of fermented bean curd to it. Mix them again. Mix well and set aside to marinate for 20 minutes. Next we prepare an onion to be cut in half. And I cut it into little filaments. Cut it and put it on a plate for later use. Prepare a slice of ginger. Prepare a few more cloves of garlic slices. Cut it and put it in a bowl for later use. Now we pour the onions into the rice cooker. Shake the onion with your hands. Then lay it flat. After paving, pour in the ginger and garlic slices as well, and sort it out again. After sorting out, put in the marinated chicken thighs. Lay it out evenly like this. And add the sauce for marinating the chicken thighs. Finally, pour a can of beer into it. We can close the lid on this fire. Press the cook button. Here we go. We add an appropriate amount of water to the pot. Close the lid and turn on the fire. Bring it to a boil. After boiling, add a spoonful of salt to it. A spoonful of sesame oil. Then, put the washed cabbage in and blanch it. Blanch for a minute, fish it out and control the water. Then place it on a plate like this. Put it all aside for later use. Open it and take a look. Wow, it smells good. The smell of chicken thighs filled the room. We clip out the drumsticks. Put it on a plate full of vegetables. Then drizzle the soup over the chicken thighs. Finally, sprinkle some cooked sesame seeds to enhance flavor. Take a look. The chicken thighs made in this way are very soft and rotten. A bite is very fragrant. It's not greasy at all with a little vegetables. Nice and delicious. Chicken thighs are made without frying. No oven baking. It doesn't taste hot at all. Kids love it. If you like it, keep it and try it. Leave a message and forward it. I post a different food video every day. See you in the next video. Click on my avatar to see more food videos. I post a different food video every day. See you in the next video.